And I am the father of Kevin, Jesse, Batiste, better known as Passion the Boss. I'm very proud of my son. Uh, he accomplished a lot in the little 28 years he was on this earth. He gave me three lovely grandchildren. I just look at it as God just put him all on to me for 28 years. How hard is that to accept? It's a day at a time. It's a day at a time. Trust and believe. When you think about what he could have been, what do you think about that? There's not a day that I don't go without thinking about my son. 28-year-old Kevin Batiste Jr. He would light up every room he walked into. How could he not with that smile? People were drawn to Kevin. He was obviously handsome. He had style, presence. But Kevin also had a mind for business. He was ambitious. He was a well-known entertainer in the city of Detroit and beyond, AKA Passion the Boss, was destined, determined to do great things. But on July 14th, 2021, all of those possibilities were taken away when someone took Kevin's life. I'm Michelle, this is Patrice, this is Abigail, and we are Kevin's sisters. I'm doing this for my brother because, one, I want to be supportive of my parents and them getting the justice that they deserve for my brother, for the loss of my brother. Second, I'm doing it because I want to have answers to questions that I've had in my heart and in my mind of why somebody could do something so horrible to another person and not feel nothing behind it. It's so much hurt going on. I, I'm hurting so bad. I'm so numb to what has happened to our family because I couldn't even imagine doing something like this to another human being. So without him being here, it's a lot to go through every day knowing what happened and knowing that somebody knows something and not speaking about it. According to DPD investigators, there was a drive-by shooting at Dollar Bills on Plymouth Road near the Southfield Freeway. Detectives say Kevin was trying to shield himself from the bullets, but was ultimately struck by the gunfire. Kevin's family found out what happened after several phone calls came in. So my brother was shot. He was at the bar. I already knew what bar he was at because I already knew where he was going for the day. I just got in my car came and came right to the here. club. And I couldn't get to my brother because they wouldn't allow me to. I just want accountability for real, me, for me and my family. Everybody that did what they did, they need to be held accountable. Police do not believe Kevin was the target. However, Kevin's family will not be sure until all information is revealed and the investigation is complete because they want truth and justice to prevail. And until I really know what happened and somebody's arrested, I've heard several different stories. I still don't know. Trying for the truth, that's it. We don't want nothing else, we don't want nobody to do nothing out of the ordinary, but just put yourself in my shoes. Then to drive past this every day, it's just, it's a lot to take in and then to just continue to relive the moment. This is the setting that I have to use to get those answers. I will. I'm using all means because that was my baby. That was my baby child. And he's truly loved and missed. I want him to know I love him. I love him and I miss him. That's the most important thing. We know the I'm truth. gonna be his voice until the truth come out in due time. God got the last say, baby. Miss him. We need him. Just keep watching our words. We got this. I love you. If you know who murdered 28-year-old Kevin Batiste Jr. Please go to the Detroit Rewards TV website or call 1-800-SPEAK-UP and make sure you mention Detroit Rewards TV. You can earn a cash reward for information that moves his case forward. And it is completely anonymous. I'm Andrea Isom. Clear your conscience, ease a family's pain, and help DPD clean up these streets.